This video covers the IGCSE Biology Objective 6.1.3 on the 2025 CAIE syllabus to describe chlorophyll. So let's just review a little bit about a plant cell and chloroplast. So here is a typical plant cell. Remember that it's a bit geometric in shape due to the rigidity of the cell wall. And it's going to contain several organelles that you would not find typically in an animal cell. So it has the cell wall, which is the outer most covering of the cell. It has a vacuole, a large vacuole, which takes up a huge amount of space in the cytoplasm. And then it has the chloroplasts, which is the site of photosynthesis. So here we have the chloroplast. It is an organelle that has internal stacks of membrane-bound discs. And so you can see there it looks like a stack of pancakes. Uh, that's how typically we identify the chloroplast. It has these discs that look like a stack of pancakes, and each disc is bound with its own membrane. So all of those discs have their own membrane. So this is where photosynthesis happens and what we can say is that it manufactures organic compounds. Remember glucose is an organic compound. So let's get going a little further to chloroplasts and then chlorophyll. So the chloroplast is the organelle that contains these stacks of discs. These discs are called thylakoid discs you don't actually have to know that name at this level of biology, but it's in the picture, so it's okay to know. So the thylakoid discs have their own membrane, and you can see that pictured here. It is a double-sided membrane, and the chlorophyll is positioned, as depicted here, embedded into the membrane of the thylakoid discs. So, that is the structure of the chloroplast and the discs. Let's take a little closer look at the chlorophyll. So this is what a chlorophyll molecule actually looks like. So what it does is it anchors to the membrane of the thylakoid disc by that long tail that we see. And you don't have to worry too much about knowing exactly what all of those chemical components are. The one thing that you do need to know is that at the center of the chlorophyll molecule, it has a magnesium atom, and that's the green atom that's central to the round structure there on the left. So it has magnesium center. So magnesium is going to be a key mineral ion that plants will require in order to make new chlorophyll. So that's just something to keep in mind a little bit later when we get to talking about mineral ions. The magnesium ion is essential to the whole process of photosynthesis. Now what happens here with the chlorophyll, because it's a pigment, it's going to absorb blue and red light. Hopefully you know that white light from the sun is made up of blue, red, and green. And because the pigment here is green, what that means is it absorbs the blue and red light and will reflect green light because that is what we see. We see green, so that means it's reflecting green back into our eyes. So basically, the chlorophyll is embedded into the thylakoid membrane. There are stacks of thylakoid discs inside a chloroplast, and the chloroplast then is an organelle which is inside the plant cells or the photosynthetic organism and that is the basic structure of a chlorophyll. 